five, which includes kindergarten and classroom. Um, in Montessori, when we learn sounds, we do everything phonetically. Um, there are many activities a child will do before, possibly, before they get to this activity. Um, they do a lot of key language of uh, sort, matching and sorting objects, um, matching pictures, um, sorting pictures, um, association, things that go together, um, rhyming work that they are able to explore. And um, also, um, these are how we start our sounds in our classroom. And they are called the object boxes. And we have five of them. And they are grouped with um, five consonants and a vowel in each box. Um, and I, depending on the age of child that does this, I mean a three-year-old can do this to a five-year-old. Um, I would lay out the sounds first and ask them if there's any sounds or letters they may recognize. Um, some child will because um, maybe in their name. Um, and then choose those sounds. Um, so I'll just pretend we have a, a Samantha here and we'll say, oh, I know this, this letter, this is an S. Because my name starts with an S. And I'm like, yes, yes, Samantha. Do you like to be a child? You want to be a child? I love you to be a child, Miss um, <laughs> It is all my child. Oh, always oh, better to have a lesson with the brain. Um, and I would say, yes, that is a S or Samantha. Can you trace the Give them the sound verbally, and then they can feel sensorily also what a s is. Hear it. Um, these are, yes, those are sandpaper letters, and the s and the sounds are raised, so you can feel them with your fingers. So besides hearing the sound and seeing the sound, they can internally feel the sound. And that even better. Yes, would you like to see those sounds? <laughs> um, we also have, for that, we have sound booklets that illustrate poorly the sounds. And so, for sample, can you say that? may say, oh, those are sandals <laughs> or slippers. And that's great. They know that sound. Snails. And So um, we go over those. And I would do that with a few sounds. Um, well, and I would just get the, the book out for the app. I think that would be a good idea to always slip away. Yeah. Can I have my staff attention, please? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to need it for the rest of the lesson. Thank you. So this is a Will say, mm, for mommy. Mom. Yes. I know that. And again, the sound will put for mm, mass. 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 Mm. What is that? Milk. Milk. That sound starts with a
the way she traced it. And then I asked her to show me the second part of the lesson. Which one was the s and which was the And then, um, depending on the age of the child, let me say, can you tell me what sound this is? That's Sometimes they may not be able to do that, and that's okay. We'll just reiterate and tell them again what the sound is. And then we also have these objects, which the children love, that go match our sounds. Let me find the objects we need, Miss Lou. Thank you. 